good morning everyone how is everybody doing this fine Monday morning I hope it's a fine Monday morning for you guys too I know it is definitely a good morning for me that's for sure I had a very very good weekend I hope you guys had a nice weekend too had some nice barbecue yesterday at my friend's place there and now we're off to uh, Fort Colon, Colon uh, Colorado yeah so that is a very nice trip I haven't been in Colorado much at all here with Penners at least you know usually I go to the East Coast or somewhere to Texas or something like that but hey it's something different and I won't complain one little bit about it no I actually enjoy it, going to different sceneries and different areas every once in a while you know anyways it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day today dispatch said that uh, or you know dispatch there he said that uh, it's supposed to get ice drizzle here tonight which I would like very much so I'm gonna try and get out of here hopefully I can go far enough south to where it's not going to be ice raining if it's going to be raining it's going to be regular rain yeah but I uh, I'm having some uh, APU unit problems uh, my fan belt is uh, broken on my APU unit so I'm actually glad that I can uh, go through Fargo because there's a Thermo King dealer up there and I'll be stopping up in there speed limit reduced to half and I will get my AP unit service probably uh, do an oil change on it put a new fan belt on it hopefully we are good to go after that yep yeah just coming up to Mitchell up here a little bit outside of Stein but we got Mitchell so but anyways let's keep it rolling here we go we are in North Dakota yep Pampana North Dakota just across the border now we're gonna put the hammer down and try and get to Fargo as quick as we can so that way we can get our uh, APU unit fixed just received a satellite message from dispatch saying they made an appointment for Wednesday to do my delivery I was going to wait till I got across the border till I uh, I was going to call them and uh, call them and see if I could make an appointment there for Wednesday and no they did so there we go no I don't have to do that thank you dispatch for doing that for me yeah well it's nice when they do that that we uh, you don't have to deal with them you don't know? make that phone call or whatever you know but here we go looks like all the snow is going to be gone pretty soon if it keeps on going the rate that it is right now I mean that snow has melted quite a bit over the last two days yep there's almost no snow left there on the, on the fields you know a little bit there in the ditch yet and that's it it'll be good well I guess that's good at least the sooner we see that gun we're gonna see green grass yeah I'm gonna have to see how it's gonna look towards uh, Colorado but I don't think there's gonna be green grass or much green grass yet but we'll have to see because they have had it pretty cold this year so but anyways we'll be back well guys I am going to wait here a little bit longer because I want to, to uh, film this truck I know I got some uh, got In a some viewers turn left on 30th Avenue South that like this particular truck yeah look at that I got some fans there you guys are 
Well, 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 guys, we finally got out of Fargo, North Dakota. Well, I've been out of there for a couple hours already, but uh, yeah, I was yapping away on the phone there to Trucker Jukebox. Yep, not a good chat with him again. But uh, yeah, so it cost me a lot of money up there at Thermo King today to get my AP unit fixed there again, but. Uh, I guess if I want to have it working, I got to get it fixed, right? And I did. I did get it fixed. But uh, I took uh, took it in there and got the oil changed. And uh, I thought I had just broken the fan belt. And uh, they inspected everything and discovered that uh, my pulley on the uh, alternator was... Uh, broken or a couple of pieces that broken out of there and that's what caused my fan belt to shred into pieces so we had to replace the, the pulley but I couldn't believe how much they wanted for that one pulley they wanted a hundred and twenty dollars for that one pulley I couldn't believe it that is just crazy you know I mean I don't know I think a pulley like that, I was looking at pulleys the other day, they're like 20, 30 bucks a pulley, a big pulley even, you know. They wanted $120 for one pulley. But, I guess that's the way it goes. Gotta pay the bill and I guess it's a tax off right, a write off for me, but still, it's costing me money. But on the other hand, it has been a beautiful day today. I think it got up to like 15 uh, Celsius up here today. That's almost, I think, probably closer to 60 Fahrenheit. That's that's already nice for up here. Yep, we are on uh, I-94 westbound and rolling. Yep. I'm gonna try and get at least another 100 miles behind me today. That way I can probably get very close to my delivery place tomorrow. We'll see exactly how close we get. But oh, look at this big oversize up here. He's holding some kind of building material. Yep. I hope the sun is not blinding you guys too much, but I guess we'll find out later on in the camera, right? Well, our day has officially ended. I just finished me a nice, nice, nice dinner. And, uh, well, I'm pretty full now. And uh, I just had to bug Trucker Jukebox since he really liked beef ribs. Up here in this place, they actually had beef ribs for dinner. So I tortured him a little bit more. Yes, I did. <laughs> And I enjoyed it. <laughs> so if you're watching, I enjoyed every little bit of it. Oh yeah. But <clears throat> it was definitely worth getting the ribs. So uh yeah, we didn't do too much filming today, but yeah, it's the start of the trip and uh just getting our going, you know. It's always uh difficult to find uh, something to talk about. At least for me, sometimes it is, but sometimes it isn't. Sometimes I got lots about uh, lots to talk about nothing, <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? But hopefully, some of you enjoyed today's vlog. I was really hoping uh, I could get that truck on video there in Fargo. I hope the manager or the boss is watching again. I heard he's calling guys into the office and getting them to watch. Uh, my channel just to see their own trucks on the road the guys there with the american uh, paint color on their volvos there are certainly some good looking trucks that's for sure and it was a lady driving today i hope she wasn't too pissed off that i wouldn't go onto the yard before she could go past me and i did that on purpose to try and get her on or the truck on video i didn't really want to get her on the video but you know, get the truck on video and let you guys know I saw you guys again. So I'll give you guys a shout out. I wish I knew what your name was so I could give you a shout out. But hey, 
I forgot what your name was there that commented on there that said a while back ago when I had uh, your trucks on there or your truck on there on one of my videos that uh, your boss made you come into the office and watch it hey I got a good kick out of that at least but uh, anyways we're done for today so we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. so thank you very much for watching and see you again